royal family commentator Angela Levin attacked Meghan Markle over the Duchess of Sussex's new children's book. While speaking to True Royalty TV's The Royal Beat, Ms. Levin insisted the children were not interested in being lectured on societal issues relating to fatherhood. She added children like simple stories featuring animals and criticized the book front cover for being considerably dull. Ms. Levin said, Children's books are directed at children. They like elephants, they like nasty tigers. They do not want a lecture about how different your relationship is with your father, whatever level of society you are at. This is a book for adults, not for children. Children are not interested in being told all of that. Also, it is a very dull cover. Royal expert Wesley Kerr also reflected on Meghan's use of her official title, Duchess of Sussex, for the book cover. Mr. Kerr said beat. Her title is that she is the Duchess of Sussex. Meghan, the Duchess of Sussex, is what a divorced person would use, so that's quite interesting to use that title. It is very interesting to see that in their many appearances, their titles are used. When Harry did an appearance this week it was Prince Harry, the Duke of Sussex. Other commentators have attacked both Prince Harry and Meghan Markle for using their royal titles following their Oprah interview where they criticised the monarchy. However, most of the criticism aimed at the royal pair has been over-focusing the book on fathers' relationships with their children, based on Prince Harry and son Archie. Former Good Morning Britain host Piers Morgan wrote in a Daily Mail column. Notwithstanding Ms. Markle's seemingly unlimited thirst for committing attention-seeking acts of gargantuan hypocrisy, this seemed beyond parody. But it was real. I wonder how much these touching sentiments will resonate with her own family, or her husband's. Lest we forget, Ms. Markle has ruthlessly disowned her father Thomas and refuses to have anything to do with him despite the fact they now live just 70 miles from each other. Commentator Andrew Neal also told show this morning. You say it is on the relationship between fathers and sons or fathers and their kids. I'm not sure her interview with Oprah did very much for that particular relationship for Prince Charles and Prince Harry. I do think it is interesting that she has got the Duchess of Sussex plastered across the front page. This is after having savaged the royal family in that interview with some really major complaints most of which we can check factually turn out to be true like them being wedded in advance or Archie being denied being a prince. 